Stop. Wait. Well, we're waiting. Before you drop your hard-earned money this Black Friday on Motion Graphics Templates for Resolve, I want to have some real talk with you. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of learning Fusion so that you can create your own motion graphics, your own visual effects, and you can kind of build your own stuff. And yes, for the long-term goodness of your creative career and time and stuff, I highly recommend that you do that. However, let's face it, not everyone has time to do that. And sometimes it's just not practical to make your own stuff when there are so many beautiful things out there that you can just kind of drag on and use. And if you're looking for a great place to get plugins and titles and everything for Resolve, I highly recommend Motion VFX. We love these guys. We've worked with them for a really long time. They've sponsored ResolveCon. We've used their plugins on tons of videos. And every single time, it's a really great experience. Let me show you, let me show you a couple things. I'm working on a video that is the behind the scenes of Delivered. That's our scary movie that we put out a few weeks ago. And I've been having a lot of fun just playing with these templates. Look at this, this is so classy. We have this kind of three up thing, which I think is so cool for like a chapter beginning for a documentary. We have this fancy little graphic down here where we could easily add our logo as well as the text here for our lower third. Just nice and clean, easy, easy to customize. We have some little kind of pop-up words here that are just nice and classy. You could make these yourself, but man, I mean, it's so quick to be able to just <laughs> drop that on. Here's another chapter beginning here. <laughs> we had so much fun making this film. We have some uh, transitions here, which I love this zoom transition. Check this out. Just so nice, Whoosh. nice and fluid. And let me show you how these plugins work. So we have our buddy, Nick. This is Nick. He records all of our audio for our films. Just a super great guy. And we want to do a little lower third for him. And so I'll open up my effects panel here. And I have a couple of the Motion VFX packs installed. M Documentary, M Essentials, and M Keynote. We've actually got a lot of these packs over the years because they're super useful. But these three are the ones that we're going to be checking out today. Keynote are kind of these like Apple keynote kind of presets, you know, just nice and clean kind of presenting a new product kind of style. See like this kind of thing. We got their essential pack, which is just the clean kind of nondescript graphics that you can use for anything. That's the kind of stuff that I think is so useful. We also got the M documentary, which is more like kind of crime drama sort of style kind of stuff that's great to just stylize your documentary. And when you want to add a pack to resolve, all you do is open up their installer and click install and it does all the work for you. You restart resolve and everything is in here. You can easily preview things just by kind of going over it here. Look at all this cool stuff. All of it's really clean, really beautiful. Even if you don't know anything about design, man, it's just so nice. Like this is great for credits. Oh, we should use this for the credits. So we have a couple different lower thirds. Here we go. It's kind of fun. Let's have this point out old Nicholas. That's not Ronald Chamberlain. That's Nick. So there's our name. Let's adjust our line controls. We can rotate this line. Let's do something like that. We can reposition it. That's real easy. And then we can control this whole thing with the content controls and push this over. There we go. Look at that. Nick Blackader. Bloop. There he is. There's our boy. <laughs> it animates on and off. Look at that. So nice. So easy. Dude, for me to make that, that would take a while. That would take a few minutes for me to make it, and it would not be as cool as this. <laughs> I would have to do a lot of work. So we used a lot of the documentary stuff here for just our beginning. And we have this kind of put on, and it kind of randomly puts in those letters. Oh, it looks so nice. And for this one, we actually mixed two of these, as we have our title from the documentary pack, and then in the essentials pack, under effects, we have these placeholders. And so what we did was we took this M documentary background right here. This is just one of the backgrounds from the documentary pack and stacked three clips on top of it. This one, this one, and this one. And what you do is you put those all in the timeline, select them, right click and go up to new fusion clip. And that's going to combine those all together in a fusion clip. And then I can take this M essentials placeholder, drag that on it. Then we have this really cool motion graphic that 
incorporates all of those videos, animates them in and everything. And I mean, that's just so much work that I don't have to do. And for something like this, it's beautiful. And there's so much in each of these packs. There's all these different kinds of effects and titles. So here we have this section for Foley. It's just a little call out kind of explaining that Foley is recording sound after the principal production designed to sync with on-screen action. And it's all animated on and beautiful like that. Oh, it's just so cool. I have a little timeline here I made of everything that it takes to do this movie. What's cool about this is that if I have more or less on my list here, if I don't want to do final render, I can get rid of that. And it resizes and everything. They're smart. So it resizes and redistributes my list across the frame. And all I have to do is just add more items. Somebody did some fanciness on this. Guys, this is what a good plugin should be. Easily be able to adjust it and play with it without it causing a bunch of problems. And this is the consistent experience I have with Motion VFX. So I wanted to show you what a good plugin pack actually looks like. So if you want my advice from somebody who isn't even into plugins and templates that much, if you're gonna get plugins and templates, Motion VFX is the way to go. And they have a 30% off sale going on right now for Black Friday. You can click the first link in the description down below. It gets you a really good deal on some stellar plugins. And also I get a little bit of money too if you click on use that link. That's, that's kind of nice, feeds the kids a little bit, all right? So if you're looking for some plugins and some templates for Resolve, that's the way to go, okay? Okay. This has been a public service announcement.